So here I have a simple Revit model with three rooms in it. One of them just has a single desk in it, the other one has a couple of desks and chairs, and the third room is um, the cafeteria from the advanced sample model, which has a bunch of groups of dining, round dining tables with four chairs each. I'll upload the some selected rooms here, pick these three rooms and say finish. And you can see that I uploaded those to the cloud database. A sequence number was noted 420 because the changes from that number onwards will be applied to the model. I also generated .NET preview images of these three rooms so I can see what I'll be getting in the database. If I switch over to the database now and go to the home page, I currently have two models listed here. Let's go to the model we just looked at. It has one single level. In this level it has the three rooms that I showed you. One of them is with just a single desk. I can move that, I can rotate it, I can save it back to the database. I can go to the other room and move these other objects around. Save that and finally go to the cafeteria. Here the items are actually treated as individual objects even though they are grouped in Revit. So what will happen here is that only the last edit of, these, of this group will affect the whole model. We'll see that in a moment. So I simply go back to Revit and say update the furniture and you can see the items have been moved in the way that I specified.